Hello ladies and gentlemen today i am in a mercedes benz e class but as many of you would be able to make out with the lesser amount of knee room that i have and these bright red seat belts this is not your ordinary e class this is something special and that's why the action in this car is not on the rear seat it's behind the steering wheel and with that ladies and gentlemen say hello to the AMG E53S which is the newest addition in the E series lineup in India and the best part about this car is that it has been slotted smack in between the luxurious E class and the bonkers E63 so in that way it's not as expensive as an E63 but promises a good performance and luxury but that's what mercedes claims is that true on the road only one way to find out let's try Now before we move on to the most impressive part this do subscribe to our channel and hit that like button also press that bell icon so that we can keep you updated about all our forthcoming videos and now let's get to the best part the AMG E53 is powered by a 3 liter 6 cylinder turbocharged engine and it develops a very healthy 435 horsepower and over 500 newton meters of torque and all this power is channeled to all four wheels in this car because this has a fourmatic system so it's not a rear wheel drive sports car it has all wheel drive and the benefit of that is of course you get a high amount of grip but getting back to the engine first well the engine is first of all a very vocal engine <laughs> the exhaust sound is something that will please you right from the word go and uh, stick it into sports plus and opt for the manual transmission you can choose these pedal shifters and the engine is very happy to rev it has no hesitation it's a very rev free engine revs all the way up to 6000 plus rpm and uh, well it the kind of sound it makes once you cross about 3000 rpm is a phenomenal it just puts a big smile on your face and that's what exactly you want from a performance car and it's not just about the sound it's also about the speed push the car hard and it will just relentlessly pull in every of the nine gears that you get in the automatic transmission it is just so much fun to drive and what really makes it so nice is the fact that it's not just about being loud and fast like i said in the beginning of this video it's This car is something that is between an E class and the E63s. So yes, you can put it into comfort mode and things just smoothen out. The cabin again sounds refined. There is not much of sound coming in from the exhaust. It no longer behaves like an angry performance car. You can use it as a daily driver and I mean I cannot imagine of any kind of issues you would face with that. keeping aside the fuel consumption of course now once you move beyond the brilliantly performing engine and the gearbox and you speak about ride and handling well these are again areas where the E53 impresses the handling is spot on now of course although it has so much power and so much character in the form of a great soundtrack from the exhaust this is not the car uh, to go in for if you love going sideways through the middle of a corner very hard to sticker tail out but yes it can be done it's not impossible but 
it's not a drift happy car for that you should buy the e63s but yes again it will go relatively flat around corners lot of grip from the all wheel drive system and the mechanical grip the chassis itself is very stable and balanced of course the uh, suspension the air suspension again it works brilliantly put it into comfort mode and it will easily take on bad roads potholes speed breakers and still keep the occupants relatively comfortable but put it into sports plus and it offers pretty much the kind of uh, ride and handling that you would expect from a four door sports sedan so speaking of overall performance well uh, yes this car is very impressive it's not as bonkers as the e63 but it is genuinely and massively lot more fun than the standard e class so its purpose of being a car that is comfortable but can also be great fun to drive well i think this car accomplishes that very well now before we move to the design and the rest of the things let me just give you a short trailer of what the exhaust sounds like This is exactly how I think heavens would sing when they are very very happy. If you talk about the design, of course this car is very different from the standard E class you can make it out from the side profile because it is visibly shorter it's not the long wheelbase version it's the standard wheelbase and of course it gets the AMG treatments so you've got AMG badging all around the bumpers are different you've got again the, the Pan American grill up front which really looks nice and of course you have the diffuser the quad pipes at the back so all of this lets you know that this is not your standard and average E class but at the same time the design is quite sedate so you can easily blend into the traffic without causing a big visual distraction but what i'm not convinced about in the exterior design are the 19 inch alloy wheels now these are 19 inch they look big they are big but the inside the kind of the circular treatment that has been given makes them look small so i'm not a big fan of this uh, design Now when you talk about the cabin again um, they been set inside it's a proper Mercedes Benz everything laid out very well it typically reeks of a very high quality a lot of premium uh, cushion all around and you can also find visual similarities between the standard E class and this because it's got a pretty much same layout what makes it different though is the fact that it's got this red stitching the red seat belts and the AMG badging all around to red you know that this is a special AMG model and of course uh, since it's not a long wheel base model so rear space uh, again is not as much as you would get in the standard e class but uh, that said it's got enough space enough features it's got a brilliant uh, infotainment system and you can um, also you also get uh, android auto apple car play you get wireless charging you get a uh, two stage uh, sunroof and a lot of features all around so yes it can easily be used every day as a very comfortable and a luxurious car a proper luxury sedan but like we discussed also a very fast one At rupees 1.02 crore ex showroom the AMG E53 is certainly an expensive car but that's primarily because it is brought into India through the CBU route but if you keep the pricing apart and if you are someone who's looking for a four door sedan that is comfortable and is user friendly but at the same time at the flick of a switch you can turn it into a speed demon and an angry performance oriented car but in that case the AMG E53 fits into the bill pretty much spot on